Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so very much for coming out today. The Pride ERG, the Office of Inclusion and Diversity, Health Equity, we all thank you very much for being here. And look at us. Here we are, making history again this year. This time by raising up the progress flag over our campuses at Christiana Care. As you know, June is Pride Month. The time we look back to June 28th, 1969, to reflect on the Stonewall riots and how much we have done in the years since that date. Last year, we talked a bit about the rainbow flag and its meaning. This year, we will take it a little further so you can understand what the changes mean and how they came about to create the progress flag. Here is our timeline. In 1994, the rainbow flag was acknowledged as the symbol of pride all around the world. In 1999, the transgender pride flag was designed by transgender activist and Navy veteran Monica Helms. Ms. Helms made history when she was the first trans person elected to a DNC convention from Georgia in 2004. In 2017, Amber Hikes, an American civil rights activist in Philadelphia, led the way to adding the variant that celebrates people of color. Ms. Hikes said we should not just talk about being inclusive, rather we should do it. That is when the black and brown stripes were added to the top of the rainbow flag and it became known as the Philly flag. That brings us to 2018, when designer and activist Daniel Kesar released an updated version of the pride flag. He combined the variants of the Philly flag and the transgender flag to bring focus on more inclusion and progress. While retaining the six stripe rainbow design as a base, the progress variation adds a chevron along the ho hoist, a variant that is meant to look like an arrow pointing right and moving forward that features black, brown, light blue, pink, and white stripes to bring those communities, the marginalized people of color, trans individuals, those living with HIV and AIDS, those no longer living, and those surrounded by stigma, into the focus and to the forefront. The progress flag was never meant to be a replacement for the rainbow flag. This progress pride flag acknowledges the intersectionality of the human experience that non-white LGBTQ plus humans experience acts of discrimination, hate, and racism at dispor disproportionate levels. And this progress pride flag is a symbol to fight for the end of racism and xenophobia. Realizing the real trauma and pain while also acknowledging the radiance and individuality of each one of our community's members is critical to gaining a deeper understanding of the importance of intersectionality. Yeah, we are making great progress. We've got so much more to do, not only on trans and people of color representation, but for bisexual, pansexual, and asexual people. Progress still needs to happen for the incredible spread of gender identities, romantic and sexual orientations we don't talk about enough. In 2020, Daniel Kesar had this to say when he was interviewed about the progress flag. And I quote, our world is so charged right now. And the voices who have been screaming for years are getting louder and louder. We cannot ignore that and must make space for them to be heard. The flag was my way of saying, we as a community 
need to step back and listen. End quote. Let us amplify those voices right now. Hoist our colors, please.